Not yet free, not yet home, but maybe one step closer. The removal of Nazanin Zagari Ratcliffe's ankle tag, which she had to rent so she could be under house arrest, not in prison, signifies the end of her sentence, but not the end to her ordeal nor to that of her husband Richard, her daughter Gabriella, and other members of the family waiting at home in London. At the end of to the day in Iran, uh, she got called to come down to the tagging office with her dad. They took off the ankle tag. Um, he had to pay the bill for however long they had, which was like 10 months worth they hadn't paid for. Um, so it was all clear, all, all clear and, and that was all finished. Um, that happened. At the same time, a lawyer said, it's really good news, but just to warn you, you're in court next week. The Foreign Secretary tweeted, We welcome the removal of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe's ankle tag, but Iran's continued treatment of her is intolerable. She must be allowed to return to the UK as soon as possible to be reunited with her family. So the Foreign Office were really pleased that they'd got the ankle tag off and there was some progress. Um, and they clearly had issued a very formal note this morning saying, listen, you've got to release her. So the Iranians have done that. And at the same time, they've kept her as leverage going forward. Um, and I find my emotional reaction to be quite guarded about what this means, and we're still in the middle of it, and we're still in the middle of this, this game of chess. Richard Ratcliffe, who has lobbied successive foreign secretaries over the last five years, believes Nazanin is a hostage and would likely be released if Britain repaid a £400 million debt it owes Iran for chieftain tanks ordered and paid for in the time of the Shah and never delivered. The charge of spreading propaganda, which she faces next Sunday, is trumped up, like the original charge of spying. Today, the Irish foreign minister was in Tehran, hoping to help repair the rift over the nuclear deal, from which President Trump withdrew and which President Biden hopes to rejoin. The West has many diplomatic issues to sort with Iran. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe and other dual nationals held in the Islamic Republic are pawns in a game over which they have no control. <laughs> How can six-year-old Gabriella playing with her cousin understand? But her mother is feeling encouraged today. Today she's thinking about the fact that the ankle tags off, can go and see my granny. Um, and that kind of having a social life and all these things that they talked about doing and just going around someone's house for lunch. Um, yeah, she's done it. She just sent me a really nice picture of her with a grin on her face. Um, I'll show it to you. It's good news, just not quite good enough. Well, joining us now is Nazanin's sister-in-law, Rebecca Ratcliffe. Rebecca Ratcliffe, thank you for joining us. Um, does it feel like you're one step closer to getting Nazanin home? Yeah, um, I think we've been building up to this day for a long time and last night we were very apprehensive if anything was going to change. The fact that she's had her ankle tag released feels like a positive step. Certainly Nazanin and Nazanin's family in Iran uh, are very uh, happy today. They feel it's a positive step. Uh, what remains to be seen you know, down the line with this second uh, summons back uh, for Sunday, whether there's another court case happening, we don't know. But today does seem a more positive day. And what do you know about these other charges she's due to face, about uh, spreading propaganda? Yeah, I don't know any anything about them. Um, they first cropped up 2017, then again a bit last autumn. Um, and now, now whether that's even what she's been summoned for on Sunday, we don't know. Um, I suppose our family's quite cynical and that's what we feel might happen. Um, but they haven't given us any more information. All they've told us is that she has to go back to court on Sunday. Mm. And your brother Richard has really lobbied the Foreign Office hard and we've heard about his extensive um, dealings with them. Have you heard from them today? What, what's the reaction from the Foreign Office been? No, only um, on social media, you know, that they're pleased that Nazanin's ankle tag's been taken off, but they're now demanding for her to be released unconditionally and come home. Um, I don't think we've had any personalised contact from the Foreign Office other than, you know, we've just updated them from our end. Were you able to speak to Nazanin? Because we heard a little bit from Richard about uh, how happy she's feeling. Were you able to speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she phoned us earlier um, and it was lovely. You know, she was all dressed up, her makeup on, nice outfit in the car. Um, I think there was a big sense of relief. She's been trapped in either prison or in her mum and dad's flat for so long now to actually... Um, go out um, and go and visit people. That's a really important sense of freedom to her. 
so she was really, really happy. Um, I think, you know, as the days progress during the week, that happiness might start turning to anxiety as Sunday looms. But today she's certainly very happy. Mm. Um, and, and your brother Richard was very honest about um, what he believes is the situation that he thinks that Nazanin is being held hostage because of this issue over the unpaid debt. Have you heard anything further about whether that might be resolved between the British and Iranian governments? Uh, no, I, I don't think the British government or the Iranian government would trust us with any details like that. I think we've always been quite honest um, that that is the reason why she's uh, been used as leverage. Uh, certainly the Iranian guards have told her that over the last five years on and off. Um, but we know no more whether anything has been paid or any action has been taken against it, towards it. And just tell us a little bit about the uh, impact on Gabriella Nazanin's daughter. What's that been like? Yeah, it's been horrendous, hasn't it? For five years, she's been uh, without her mummy. Um, she starts off going over the, when Nazanin was first taken. She lost her main care provider. Then when she came back here to live with Richard, she was taken away from her next main care provider, which was her granny in Iran. Um, and now it's just of an uncertainty, waiting for her mummy to come home. We've been counting down those days. She's had a lovely calendar. Um, but, you know, mummy hasn't quite come back. We, we're counting till tomorrow, which would have been the day when Nazanin should have flown home. So we've still got hope. Um, but, yeah, just waiting as she's been doing her whole life, bless her. Still waiting then. Rebecca Ratcliffe, thank you very much for joining us.